next on Live. Now, here are Kelly Ripa and Michael Strahan. October 29th, 2014. Mike, what day is it? Up day! Woo -hoo. Oh, you're wrong. It's my father-in-law's birthday. <laughs> father-in-law's <laughs> birthday! Trick yeah, yeah! Trick question. Trick question. I can't believe Halloween is around the Kona. Yeah. And I am not ready. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Did you get your costume made? Nope. I just, I, you know, we do so many here, I don't wear one. Um, I go as me. I've got a present for you that you could use as a costume. I kind of think oh, this boy. is genius. I'm afraid. When you weren't here, Mark was here, and we uh -huh. talked about sleep aids, because, you know, he likes to sleep a lot. Mm -hmm. So um, we had this thing called the ostrich pillow. Um, that was kind of remarkable, and I think we have a picture of Mark wearing it, maybe. Um, yeah, there's Mark putting it on. You sleep how in, you, put, how you, you put your you put your face down and you put your hands in the holes on the side and you sleep like this. <laughs> then, but who sleeps like that? Uh, you, it's for napping at your desk. Oh, I thought um, somebody under arrest or yeah. something. Huh? So then, so then my you know Barry Sonnenfeld. Yep. He said, I have one of those. And he sent me a picture of him. There he is, sleeping in his ostrich pillow. It's crazy, right? He actually there he uses it. Yeah, one. he uses it. He loves it. Looks like an elephant. So this is something called a forever pillow. I like to call it an infinity pillow because um, it's like an infinity scarf. You put it on, right? <laughs> oh, there goes my mic. You put it on again, and then you just... <laughs> So you can go as a sleepy person. How much? For Halloween. Let me see how that. There you go. Here, you try it on. See, I don't know if I can loop it around my big head. No, you can. You can. You can. If I got it around my big head. Yeah. So it is very nice. That's a perfect look. That looks so nice. And I it's. I fall asleep, people. Don't mind me. It's. So it's free, and it, and it costs, it's free. It's free. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that's your birthday. <laughs> oh, thank you. My birthday gift. Early gift. Yeah. I appreciate it. Put it in here. It comes with a, it comes it comes with with a satchel. Sack. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it forever, is it called forever pillow? Yeah. Okay. Forever pillow, in case you're curious. And That'd it's be made good from on an airplane, actually. Yeah, no, I know, be because your, be your head is always airplane. like, your head doesn't know where, you know, when you, see, here's what I've learned about air travel. They lean the seats forward now. So when you recline, you're actually just sitting upright. Have you yeah. noticed that? So you go, let me recline my seat. Well, that keeps from all the fighting that people do when you do recline your seat. Correct. But, um, you know, have you, um, have you tried this Apple Pay stuff yet? The what? This Apple Pay? On oh, your new no, phone? but you can pay things with, the, with yeah. your phone, right? Yep. You just I, pay for it. I haven't done it yet. I, Gilman was trying to show me backstage that he's done it. But I want to do this where you just put your credit card info on your phone and say your. I know. That, they have your iTunes already. It makes me think that my daughter will steal my phone. <laughs> you need your fingerprint. You need, you need your fingerprint. You need a fingerprint. She will take my fingerprint. <laughs> <laughs> you get one of those things like, like yeah, a, like like a like born movie or something yeah, exactly. where she steals the, the cover of your print. Right. But you, what you do, say you're in a taxi and the bill comes up, you just swipe your phone, the credit card comes up, and that's for your fingerprint. You put your fingerprint on it and put your tip in, and you're done. And that's it. And that's it, and you're done. And now Why even... Why are you saying Taco Bell? Because you're... Taco Bell... <laughs> okay. Taco Bell has an app now, so you can get on... You can pay with your smartphone, or you can walk up or drive in after you already pay on your... On your so um... Taco Bell has an app, like you place yeah. your order from your Taco Bell app? Yep. Mm -hmm. 
And then you pay for it on the phone, and you just walk up, and you're hey. like, I'm Sam. I don't know why I picked that name. I could use my own name. I'm Kelly. Here's my Taco Bell. Where's my Taco Bell? Yep, and Outback's going to start doing it, too. Starbucks is big. Starbucks no is the big. But I don't know. I feel kind of like Starbucks is kind of... But it, if I look at somebody with a uh, Taco Bell app, I'm like, dude, you really need to get a grip. You have the Taco Bell app? You Wait, have the you Taco have Bell the app? app? Okay, so wait. So let me. How often do you eat Taco Bell? Five, Five times, times a week. week? <laughs> what, what do you eat? So what's the best thing to get there? I love it. It's brand new at the Doritos Locos Cheesy Gordita Crunch. That sounds healthy. Is that that's the healthy one? <laughs> I think it sounds like you, you, you see a commercial and you scamper the Taco Bell. Have you ever had Taco Bell? Oh, goodness. I've I only had it once in Taco my Bell. Life. Really? Oh, Nachos Bell Grande? Mwah. Nachos Bell Grande? Yeah, yeah. Nacho, but, you know, that was a nice little cheap meal. Get full off that. Nachos Bell Grande? I've only had Taco Bell once in my life, and it's only because... Uh, Michael, uh, my oldest son, when he was little, he had a dream of going to Taco Bell. He was like, it is my dream to go to Taco Bell. And I was like, okay, that's a crazy goal. Um, and so we took him there one day for, I can't remember if he had like, you know, good, you know, good report card or whatever the occasion was. And we got him his fancy Taco Bell dinner. And he really, like, it wasn't his cup of tea. Oh, he didn't like it? No, it wasn't like his. But, I mean, we didn't know what. See, I've only done White Castle one time. Oh, my God. Because that's they say, insane. well, they say White Castle is the place that where after you had a late night and probably a lot of drinking, that's where you go, all you drinkers. <laughs> But, you, but I've only had White Castle one. I you haven't had White Castle like, one time. You would need like 30 White Castles. Yeah, because they're so small. It's they're frustrating. Tiny. That's frustrating. Get a little burger and just like a, it's like a, like a, just pop it in. I'm done with the burger. That's too much work to eat. But for me, they're like normal size burgers. Like I have, I, like I order one. They're like, what do you mean one? I'm like, what? <laughs> just need one. But I've, yeah, I've only been there one, and they are, they're good. They're just so small for me. It's kind of like eating like shellfish. I don't eat a. I, I like shellfish, but sometimes when you gotta work to get the meat out of don't it. Don't be so shellfish. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, in that case, I'm being lazy because I got too much work, and then you all that scooping for that little piece of meat. I'm like, just give me a chicken breast or a steak. <laughs> That is true. When you get the Maryland spice crabs, I remember when Mark and I were first married, mm -hmm. we would get Maryland spice crabs and dump them out on the coffee table and watch the Yankees games. And we would be bleeding and raw, and the and the Maryland spice gets in the cut, and you're and you're in pain, and then you drink a beer, and then you're drunk because you've only had an ounce of crab meat. <laughs> you're exhausted, and you need stitches. Exactly. But boy, is it fun. <laughs> Hey, there's a lot of things that people are afraid of um, mm -hmm. associated with Halloween. Like people, you remember, like, don't eat the apple. It has razor blades in it. Yeah. Remember the razor yeah. blades, the needle in the candy? They're going to poison you. All of these things. I've got good news. None of those things really happen very often. Oh, uh, I thought it never happened. But they're saying that there are things that you really should be concerned about on Halloween. This stuff that that should scare you. Um, cars that hit you when they can't see you because you're not wearing something reflective or just drunk drivers in general on Halloween. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's a, a festive holiday. People imbibe. People imbibe more, I think, when they are in costume as yep. if they can't be recognized by the police. Um, so that's something to think about. Also, dental disasters. They're saying uh, you will rip out your braces, your fillings, and all other sorts of stuff every time you eat a Mary Jane. You know they're delicious. I'm proof they of that. <laughs> you had a whole middle tooth. Had a Halloween accident yeah. back in '76. <laughs> Hasn't come back yet. Uh, and well, hey, your dogs could eat the chocolate, and that is toxic for dogs. Yeah. Except for my dog, who doesn't seem to be affected by chocolate at all. She's eaten chocolate three times. Really? Yeah, and three times we've tried to induce vomiting. You call poison control, and they tell you to give the dog um, a teaspoon of... Uh, no, they said uh, uh, hydrogen peroxide. So then my dog ate the pack of Hershey's Kisses 
and the foil and two teaspoons of uh, hydrogen peroxide, and she still didn't throw up. And then they said, okay, she's fine. <laughs> that was the response. I guess she washed it down. And then uh, finally, pumpkin carvers. Pumpkin carving, oh. accidents gone awry, lots of stitches, lots yep. of people cutting themselves carving pumpkins. See, I've, I've carved pumpkins, but each time, boy, it's a scary thing. It's really yeah. is. Because you're trying to get through it and think it comes down on well, you. Well, plus, your fingers. Uh, bend in an atypical way. Yes. So sometimes I would think they might get in the way. If you're carving something, your finger may get in the way. Yeah, that's the problem. My hands are all jacked up. <laughs> Nothing I can do. Well, I don't play the piano. No, seriously, I hit like three keys at one time. That's <laughs> 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 bad <note. laughs> I won't be performing at any concerts. And, um, you know, speaking of Halloween and cars and danger, well, there's this guy who was in Michigan, and he decided he was going to a, he was going to a Halloween party, but on the way he decided to have a little fun. Okay. So he's in his costume as a zombie, and he decides he's going to scare people in cars by jumping out until one of the cars hit him. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, but he was okay. He was taken to the hospital with a non-life-threatening injuries. But um, Jeffrey Steele, or Styles from Muskegon, was attending a party and decided he just stepped out in the traffic and tried to scare somebody. Shouldn't you look first, even if you are a zombie? <laughs> Not like they hit you in the movies and pop up and you start. <laughs> Can really kill you. Yeah, you don't no. need a costume, my man. And so not only careful. that, if you really scare the wrong person, I mean, you never know who, you know, who's skittish, who may have a gun in their car. Yep. You just never know. You know, the joke's on you. <laughs> on a game. This list I saw, I thought this was so funny. The top um, 10 unbelievable excuses for sick employees give for skipping work. <laughs> Probably half our audience. Are you skipping work? Why did you tell your boss? Why, why did you tell them you couldn't be there today? <laughs> so now they know that you're not sick. <laughs> you realize people at home see you now. Yeah, but you're probably not feeling well. You don't look well right now. You probably have a fever. She has a fever, right? Yeah, Somebody fan can. her down. Yeah, yeah. please. <laughs> We don't want you to lose your job. You're not well. You just stumbled into this line. Here are the, um, the ten worst excuses for okay. missing work. Okay. Um, employee number ten. Employee accidentally got on a plane. <laughs> I have a great... I can't tell you on the air, but during commercial break, I'll tell you all a great accidental airplane story. Oh, my God. <laughs> About a famous person. Oh, okay. Really? Yeah. Oh, Allegedly. yes. All and right. calling in sick for work accidentally on a plane. <laughs> yeah. Not kidding. Well, then this is a... I'm not going to read all ten, but I'll read a few more. Employee got stuck in the blood pressure machine at the grocery store <laughs> and couldn't get out. <laughs> that can happen. That one oh, sounds wonderful. Oh, my goodness. This one here is a killer. Employee got had a lucky night and didn't know where he was. <laughs> oh, employee woke up in a good mood and didn't want to ruin it. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll never be back. Yeah, we'll never be back. We'll never come back. Gentlemen, yeah. we'd like to call in the rest of the week. <laughs> <laughs> the, employee had, the, the, the employee had been at the casino all weekend and still had money left to play with Monday morning. <laughs> but no job when they, when they pay no money. Um, employee was sitting in the bathroom and her feet and legs fell asleep. When she stood up, she fell and broke her ankle. <laughs> How long was she sitting there? What was she doing? Yeah, that's two issues. That's two separate issues. If yeah, you're sitting down that long, that's an issue right there. Yes. And then if you, you know... I mean, a leg, if she broke her leg, she can prove that the leg is broken. Yeah, but I wouldn't have told him I broke it sitting on the toilet. <laughs> and number two, the number two reason, employees' plastic surgery for enhancement purposes needed some tweaking to get it just right. <laughs> that only works if you're a stripper. <laughs> yeah, it's the only way they'll give you options. And the number one... <laughs> We're applauding strippers. Yes, they do work hard for the money. 
the number one worst excuse for missing, calling in sick, was the employee just put a casserole in the oven. Oh. Wow. Been the night shift. Wow. Night shift. Night shift. Night shift. <laughs> night shift. That's unbelievable. Wow. There we go. Okay. Are we done already? That's it. Well, we hope we helped you come up with new excuses. Well, you can't use any of those, ma'am. You gotta let us. You gotta let us know if you lose your job. I, I'm. I'm hoping that you're. That you won't. You well, let us know. We'll find something for you to do here, Gelman. If I see you sitting in the audience two or three times a week, I know you lost your job. <laughs> well, we'll see when the tri when we do this trivia and the, and they call out a number between one and whatever it is. Sometimes when the people win, they hate to stand up, and I'm like, yeah, because you're supposed to be at work. Eat. But that keeps from all the fighting that people do when you do recline your seat. Correct. But, um, you know, have you, um, have you tried this Apple Pay stuff yet? The what? This Apple Pay on oh, your new no, phone? Oh, no, but you can pay things with, the, with yep. your phone, right? Yep. You just I, pay for it. I haven't done it yet. I, Gilman was trying to show me backstage that he's done it. But I want to do this where you just put your credit card info on your phone. And say your, uh, I know. That, they have it your makes iTunes me think already. that my daughter will steal my phone. You need your fingerprint. You need, you need your fingerprint. You need your fingerprint. She will take my fingerprint. <laughs> <laughs> you get one of those things like, like, yeah, a, like, like a born movie or something yeah, exactly. where she steals the, the cover of your print. Right. But you, what you do, say you're in a taxi and the bill comes up, you just swipe your phone, the credit card comes up, and that's where your fingerprint, you put your fingerprint on it and put your tip in, and you're done. And that's it. And that's it, and you're done. And now, why even are you saying Taco Bell? Because you're Taco Bell. <laughs> okay. Taco Bell has an app now, so you can get on. You can pay with your smartphone, or you can walk up or drive in after you already pay on your on your. So um, Taco Bell has an app, like you place yeah. your order from your Taco Bell app. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you. then you pay for it on the phone, and you just walk up, and you're hey. like, I'm Sam. I don't know why I picked that name. I could use my own name. I'm Kelly. Here's my Taco Bell. Where's my Taco Bell? Yep, and woke up in a good mood and didn't want to ruin it. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll never be back. Yeah, we'll never be back. We'll never come back. We'd like to call in the rest of the week. <laughs> the, employee had, the, the, the employee had been at the casino all weekend and still had money left to play with Monday morning. <laughs> but leave. no job when they, when they finish their money. Um, employee was sitting in the bathroom and her feet and legs fell asleep. When she stood up, she fell and broke her ankle. <laughs> How long was she sitting there? What was she doing? Yeah, that's two issues. That's two separate issues. If yeah, you're sitting down that long, that's an issue right there. Yes. And then if you, you know, I mean, a leg, if she broke her leg, she can prove that the leg is broken. Yeah, but I wouldn't have told him I broke it sitting on the toilet. <laughs> and number two, the number two reason, employees' plastic surgery for enhancement purposes needed some tweaking to get it just right. <laughs> that only works if you're a stripper. <laughs> yeah, it's the only way they'll give you options. And the number one. <laughs> We're applauding strippers. Yes, they do work hard for the money. The number one worst excuse for missing, calling in sick, was the employee just put a casserole in the oven. Oh. Wow. Been the night shift. Wow. Night shift. Night shift. Night shift. <laughs> night shift. That's unbelievable. Wow. There we go. Your head doesn't know where. You know, when you. See, here's what I've learned about air travel they lean the seats forward now. So when you recline, you're actually just sitting upright. Have yeah. you noticed that? So you go, let me recline my seat. Well, that keeps from all the fighting that people do when you do recline your seat. Correct. But, um, you know, have you, um, have you tried this Apple Pay stuff yet? The what? This Apple Pay on oh, your new no, phone? Oh, no, but you can pay things with, the, with yep. your phone, right? Yep. You just I, pay for it. I haven't done it yet. I, Gilman was trying to show me backstage that he's done it. But I want to do this where you just put your credit card info on your phone and say your... Uh, I know. That, they have your iTunes already. It makes me think already. that my daughter will steal my phone. You need your fingerprint. You need, you need your fingerprint. You need your fingerprint. She will take my fingerprint. <laughs> <laughs>
If you want to think like, like, yeah, that, like, like, like a born movie or something, yeah, exactly. where she steals the, the cover of your print. Right. But you, what you do, say you're in a taxi and the bill comes up, you just swipe your phone, the credit card comes up, and ask for your fingerprint. You put your fingerprint on it and put your tip in, and you're done. And that's it. And that's it, and you're done. And now, why even are you saying Taco Bell? Because you're Taco Bell. Okay. Taco Bell has an app now, so you can get on. You can pay with your smartphone, or you can walk up or drive in after you already pay on your on your. So own. Taco Bell has an app, like you place yeah. your order from your Taco Bell app. Yep. Ford now. So when you recline, you're actually just sitting upright. Have yep. you noticed that? So you go, let me recline my seat. <laughs> But that keeps from all the fighting that people do when you do recline your seat. Correct. But, um, you know, have you, um, have you tried this Apple Pay stuff yet? The what? This Apple Pay on oh, your new no, phone? Oh, no, but you can pay things with, the, with yep. your phone, right? Yep. You just I, pay for it. I haven't done it yet. I, Gilman was trying to show me backstage that he's done it. But I want to do this where you just put your credit card info on your phone. And say your, uh, I know. That, they have your iTunes already. It makes me think already. that my daughter will steal my phone. <laughs> you need your fingerprint. You need, you need your fingerprint. You need your fingerprint. She will take my fingerprint. <laughs> <laughs> you get one of those things like, like, yeah, a, like, like a born movie or something yeah, exactly. where she steals the, the cover of your print. Right. But you, what you do, say you're in a taxi and the bill comes up, you just swipe your phone, the credit card comes up, and ask for your fingerprint, you put your fingerprint on it, and put your tip in, and you're done. And that's it. And that's it, and you're done. And now, why even are you saying Taco Bell? Because you're Taco Bell. <laughs> okay. Taco Bell has an app now, so you can get on. You can pay with your smartphone, or you can walk up or drive in after you already pay on your on your. So um, Taco Bell has an app, like you place yeah. your order from your Taco Bell app. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you. then you pay for it on the phone, and you just walk up, and you're hey. like, I'm Sam. <laughs> I don't know why I picked that. Not ready. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Did you get your costume made? Nope. I just, I, you know, we do so many here, I don't wear one. Um, I go as me. I've got a present for you that you could use as a costume. I kind of think oh this boy. is genius. I'm afraid. When you weren't here, Mark was here, and we uh -huh. talked about sleep aids, because, you know, he likes to sleep a lot. Mm -hmm. So um, we had this thing called the ostrich pillow um, that was kind of remarkable. And I think we have a picture of Mark wearing it, maybe. Um, yeah, there's Mark putting it on. You sleep how in, you put, how you put your through? You put your face down, and you put your hands in the holes on the side, and you sleep like this. <laughs> who then, but who sleeps like that? Uh, you, it's for napping at your desk. Oh, I thought um, somebody under arrest or yeah. something. Huh? So then, so then my, you know, Barry Sonnenfeld. Yep. He said, I have one of those. And he sent me a picture of him. There he is, sleeping in his ostrich pillow. It's crazy, right? He actually there he uses is. it. Yeah, he uses it. He loves it. Looks like an elephant. So this is something called a forever pillow. I like to call it an infinity pillow because um, it's like an infinity scarf. You put it on, right? <laughs> Oh, there goes my mic. You put it on again, and then you just... <laughs> so you can go as a sleepy person.